This is bacon. This is tomato. This is kosher splendor. Frozen cookies. Zesta. Tampax mayo. This is my size. This is Roseville! Sorry, I just figured out this sweet Travis Barker fill, and it is awesome. What's up? My name's Arjun. I'm here to share with you some more advanced drum technique. Today, we're going to talk about setting up your drums, and more specifically, we're going to be talking about the cymbals. A lot of different drummers um, do different things when they play the drums, but nine times out of ten, one of the first things they're going to be doing is setting up their drums. There are a lot of different schools of thought here with where to place your cymbals. Right now we're looking at a crash cymbal and I have it placed at a, a fairly conservative height here. You can see that it, it just kind of sounds okay. The higher you raise your cymbals, the better it is for the drummer. For starters, it forces you to move your body more so that your right arm gets a lot bigger than your left arm. You might say, why would I want my right arm to be bigger than my left arm? Well, having it up here also makes it so that when you're playing um, and someone's taking a picture of you, your face isn't covered by the symbol. Now, I can't tell you how much of a bummer it is to play a sweet rock show, get home, Google yourself, and find the pictures only to see a giant symbol blocking your face. Two reasons right there. One is the building the arms and then for pictures. Another thing is, and I've talked about this before, is you want to exert dominance when you're playing the drums. And by really wailing on your cymbals, you're showing your drums that you are the boss, not them, that you control the sound. So this is actually still a little bit low. Not quite. Let's try this for a second. Now I'm just going to show you a standard drum beat and how it sounds when I'm playing the cymbal up there. So, so you can kind of see how the sound that comes out, it's a lot more aggressive and um, it just it looks a lot cooler. I don't have to worry about any of the symbols blocking any of my pictures. I'll get, get them tagged on Facebook the next day. And it's, that's really what, what drumming is about. It's about tagging pictures. Tom Payton here, coming to you from the road, in the world, doing things. And I'm on the road, a couple things I like to focus on. I like to keep fit, try and walk as much as possible. First thing I want to talk to you guys about is sound check. That's basically when the show starts. Sound check, uh, it's all about you, basically. You gotta get it right. You gotta make sure that everybody else gets it right. The wing nuts, you make sure that those are functioning properly. Okay, sound man's gonna be looking to hear each drum. First off, you're gonna start with that kick drum. You wanna hit him with as many looks as possible, as many hits as possible. Varying in volumes, for sure, you know? Second up's gonna be that snare drum. Basically, same principles apply. You wanna hit him hard, you wanna hit him fast, you wanna give him a couple different looks up to the hi-hat. Same principle applies. Hit him hard, hit him fast. Let him know what you're working with. Let everybody else in the room know what you're working with because the sound check is the first chance that you have to establish that you're the big dog in the room, for sure. After that, everything's set, full kit. Just go around, give them those beats, any beats you want. A couple blast beats, a couple funk jams, you know? Potpourri, things that you're gonna be bringing to the table that night. Just don't hold anything back. Not a damn, goddamn, damn thing. One thing people don't think 
a lot about Soundcheck. Great opportunity for collaboration. Whenever anybody else is kind of on the floor, on stage, playing, just let loose. If they're laying down a groove, just kind of slip right into it. Add your own accents, polyrhythms, syncopations. Hit them hard. That's all for now, more to come soon. We're gonna be thinking about you here on the road, using you as motivation for me. Just wanna remind you when you're out there, when you hit them, hit them hard. Yep. Dude, I get it. I get it. Seriously? Are you really gonna be like this? Dude, what the hell? I can't go any faster. Freaking back off. Let me do my thing. I don't even know if I want to give this to you anymore. You don't deserve this. on downloads, so I'm going to tell you how to get your CDs into Starbucks. Hey Fred, how's it going? You got a second? Um, there have been a... Wow, this is, this is awkward. Um, I've spoke with HR and apparently there have been a few... Um, a few complaints and, um, well, some people are upset that you're, you're not wearing, um, professional attire to the workplace or, or any attire really. It's making people uncomfortable. Really, my hands are tied here. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Your pants. 
under tow. 